Hi, I'm Hazel, Grandpa's granddaughter. Um, I've been helping make chook feeders and help selling them for the past 10 years. Um, and today I'm going to show you how to assemble them. All right, take the feeder out of the box. Just lift it by the lid. Now, you need to take the platform off just by releasing the sellotape. We're going to stick it on here and we're going to take the bolts out. So you don't actually need a flash gadget like this, all you need is a screwdriver um, to undo the bolts, nice and easy. Right, so once you've removed the bolts from the arms, we're going to turn the feet around and we're going to slot this into position. So just up here, find the holes line them up and we're going to drop the bolt in. Then we're going to grab the washer and the nut and just put that on there and then fasten it into position and you'll do that with all four holes. Right so here's a close-up of putting the bolts in. Put the washer on first. And then the nut. Right, so now you've got the tread plate attached. We're just going to remove the packing foam. Add the feeder, you're going to find your training bolt which I'll show you how to assemble later. And this here is your anti-flip grill. So this is um, used to prevent your hens from flicking the feed around, especially if you've got a mixed, mixed grain feed. Now with this grill, it does actually ride up and down with the level of the feed, so you don't have to worry about that. Now I'm gonna show you how to train your chooks to use one of my grandpa's feeders. So first of all, to open the lid, you just need to easily push this front panel here, which lifts up the bolt nice and easy. Now, as I said earlier, you get your little training bolts that come inside. So you've got to lift up the lid here, and you'll find inside there's two little holes. So we're going to stick the first bolt in the top hole on that side, and again on the other side. So this stops the platform from moving and frightening the chooks. So you just need to add your washer and your nut and screw that on firmly. So this is just a close up to put your training bolts in. So just in the top hole there, as you can see it's stopping the lid from going down and you're adding your washer and your nut. Right, so just remember to do the same on the other side. And with the washer and the bolt, do them up firmly, but not too tight because you are going to have to remove them and put them on the lower hole in a week's time. All right, so now that you've assembled your feeder and it's ready for your first week's training, um, I'm just going to put some food in it. As you can see, it holds a lot of food. And then we just pop the lid back on. Now remember to place your feeder on reasonably level ground and just make sure you're not feeding your chooks any alternative meals and they will quickly learn that this is their main source of food. So now that your chooks have been using the feeder for the first week, we need to change uh, the, the training setting to setting two. So we're just pulling the bolts out and putting them to the next level. So just a close up here, as you can see, I've moved the training bolt from the first hole to the second hole. 
Yep. You turn it round, as you can see, this allows just a little bit of movement and that just gets the chooks used to movement when they're using the feeder. Right, so after your two weeks training, your chooks are ready to use your feeder and you can remove your training bolts as I have here and now they're used to that full movement your chooks are ready to feed at will and you won't have to worry about feeding all the rats, mice and wild birds so all the information we've provided in this video you will also find underneath the lid of the feeder um, everything from assembly to training and also a few useful tips along the way